Good morning from Yami V T V. Wishing you all well. Sending loads of love to you all as usual. It's only right I actually come up here and make this announcement so I keep you lot fully in the picture of what's going on in this sad world that we live in where lives are lost um, on a quite frequent basis these days. Uh, this morning I announced a sad passing of my bestie from the inside of the Category A prisons and thankfully got to be my bestie on the outside as well. The sad passing of described by all the most of the Category A legends, the sad passing of the greatest prison officer of all time, Phil Curry, um, loses his battle with that long-term illness that he has spoken about on a couple of podcasts that everybody has been aware of. Um, we, our thoughts are with his family, his wife and his lovely children and all those that are close to him down there in Evesham. Um, love, light and prayers to you all and obviously I'm going to see you all very soon. Um, the last few days, um, his book, he got the job done. He knew um, probably the time was against him after winning the battle once, it coming back. Um, the book is now being released, um, The Life of a Prison Screw. Um, so, yeah, be fitting uh, that many of, many of you will be buying that book, um, being described as um, probably the greatest um, prison book of all time. So, yeah, sad news to start the day, I'm afraid. You won't hear from me today. Um, I've got a few people to talk to. Um, much loved by everyone. Uh, we've heard it. I've read all the messages from all those names, past and present, um, that send him well wishes, the kind of impact um, that only he and only he alone had as a prison officer, more than any other prison officer in history, of that kind of love and respect from the so-called us and them um, stuff, um, if you get what I mean. Um, it, us and them, Phil wasn't part of us and them. He wore his badge with honour, not no bent prison officer. Um, wore the badge with dignity. Um, rightly in the book, you see with the run-ins he had with um, his own, some of his own colleagues and prison governors and stuff in the system. Um, it really is quite, you know what I mean? I don't even know what to say at this time. I'll be doing a, a, a special tribute to him all, to, to, to you all soon. Um, I'll probably do it live in a couple of days. But again, life's promised to no one. Many of you have suffered this same, um, this same fate um, or witnessed uh, this kind of stuff. I'm beginning to understand that it's part of life, but for all the same, it still comes as a jolt in blow that one day you're here and the next day you're not and that we learn to just treasure each moment that we can with each other because you never know when you when people pass you're going to wish that you did this and wish you did that i noticed it weeks ago uh, when i got cleaner i started to get in touch with my feelings and i started to worry that i could lose him it's been strange this uh, feeling for me but i reckon i got the job done and he saw me um, at my best, which I know that he was proud of. But, you know, Leeds fans marching on together, there'll be a tribute at Ellen Road for him, um, undoubtedly. A die-hard Leeds fan like us as well. Um, but I have to... Let me get this video up. But I have to tell you, I suppose. Um, and I'll be in touch um, later on, all right?